Yo, what up? This is Underscore. Welcome to my channel. This is my first ever video. Today I'm going to be making an ambient melodic trap song in Ableton. Uh, this is going to be a sort of Juice World Nick Mirror type of vibe, I think. Um, so just to get straight into it, we're going to go with a BPM of 140, which is a sort of good bass level to be at for these uh, sort of trap songs and uh, even drill as well. Um, I've got a lot of layers already open from a previous track I've made where I've just copied it over just to save time. So first things first, we're going to get straight into a melody. So that isn't quite it, but it, um, it's the basis of the idea. So that's the melody down, um, it's sort of a, like an emotional vibe and the sound in Omnisphere luckily has a bit of uh, ambience to it already. I've added some RC20 which has um, a lot of magic and gives a lot of colour, a bit of wobble, I just I like the effect of it. I'm also going to add a bit of tone in the mids just to give it a bit more warmth and the reverb, you know, sort of self-explanatory. Cool, so next we want to just add a bit more to the melody. So first I'm going to just double it up with a pad, which I think this is. So okay, that's some keys. Now hopefully that will do what I need it to do. Perfect, so all that's doing is just adding a bit more depth to the melody because the guitar can be a little bit thin by itself sometimes. Um, and I don't want that to be too overpowering and I want it to be slightly EQ'd out. I've got RC20 on it because I put RC20 on everything to be honest. I've added some width, um, a ton of reverb and a bit of noise as well. So next I'm going to go straight into adding the drums and then we can work out counter melodies later um, just so we can get the vibe going straight away. So first things first we'll go straight into adding some hi-hats. Um, for hi-hats I like to start off with a simple pattern and then from there you can sort of jazz it up a little bit. Make sure you add a bit of randomness to the panning. I put it at least 40 to 50 percent depending on the vibe you're going for and I'm actually going to change that hi-hat to something a bit more um, hi-hatty <laughs> if that's the sound let's try For now that'll be fine, um, then we're going to add in a snare, so sometimes for drums I use audio samples individually on different tracks, but this time I've got a, um, a kit opened up already with some sound, so we're just going to go with that for now. Um, and sometimes I play them live, sometimes I will draw them in, for the purposes of the video I'll draw them in though. So a standard clap, 
I mean, you can't really go wrong. Well, you can go wrong if you put it in the wrong place, like I do all the time. Adding some uh, rim shots and things like that to uh, add extra percussion is always good. I like to have them sort of sparsely, depending on the pattern. And then doubling up your claps is always a good shout with snares or snaps or anything. I like to do it on every second hit, just um, adding a little snap, which will have a bit of reverb on there. And then adding a bit of... Um, extra percussion as well just to um, you know sp add a bit of sparkle I like the um, cowbell sound so I tend to throw it in a lot for now that'll be okay because we've got what we want and next we're going to go straight into the 808 now if you've seen an ocean vid uh, you'll know about the trick of playing them in a higher octave first so you can actually hear the tone of the sound because as you get deeper you can't really hear much um, for this I'm going to use the simpler and we'll start off with the spins 808 um, because it's a clean sound and from there you can work out if you want something a bit more you know distorted or a bit more um, you know unique essentially I tend to have the release all the way up but depending on the track for this I think it will need to be um, I throw RC20 on it to mono it and then use that for distortion. You can also use a saturator or anything like that. And in terms of the sidechain, I'll get to that in a second, but it is sidechained to my kick. So I would just copy this over and then take out all the notes except for where the kicks were. It's rumbling a lot because it's in a very low octave right now. And then I would just... Uh, So now what you'll find is, because of the key that the melody is in, the spins 808 doesn't really sound great in that range. So I want it to be sort of, I don't want it to be that high and I don't want it to be this low. So what would probably be better is having it a, um, let's put this back, having the key of the song change up to a C. Actually a D, I like the sound of a bit better. So I'm going to change the pitch of this. Now for the sidechain, what you would do is sidechain it to the kit and then specifically the kick, which is the first one, and then just basically bring everything down and then use the threshold. You can put the release to match the sample, this should be fine. So if I put the threshold up, you can see it's not doing anything, it's just playing as it would. but. And then you play with it until it sounds right because you can see it's uh, it's now coming into effect depends how you want it to sound just go by by your own ear and taste essentially as with everything in music so I like to arrange a little bit as I go along and that just makes it easier at the end um, and you'll see why in a second because it will help you give you an idea of structure as you're going in terms of what you need to add. So I know I need to add a few more melodic layers, but I also want to add the like a synth bass sound. So for parts where the 808 isn't playing, in terms of a breakdown or intro or chorus or anything, this will work. So um, 
have to remember it's in a D. The sound is just a growler, um, you know, Moog bass synth. So yeah, they always sound really cool. So now what we would do is just um, move everything over. And then what we want is the guitar and then the growler comes in and then it jumps into the 808. So for adding a melodic layer next, I um, I think I want some bells or something just to add to the ambience. So what I'll do is um, I'll just loop this and then play along with it with different sounds. And that is what will mainly allow me to find something that fits. Okay, that will do. So let's find a melody. I'm just going to record and see what happens. something out of that. Okay, I like the sound of that and I'm just gonna keeping in mind I'm arranging as I go along just work out where this would come in. So it would come in before the drop and then again in the middle of the verse essentially. So now we just want to sort of arrange it and then work out if there's any more bits we would, would want to add in. So we've got a sort of intro, pre-intro, say it goes straight into a verse. Like say this is the chorus, that's the verse. Good to add in a you know few random bits, especially with the percussion, like dropping in and dropping out and whatnot. So take out the guitar for this bit and then we'll say, I'm going to put in um, a bit more randomness when it comes to the effects um, afterwards as well but yeah for now after i finished arranging it you've got a basic track made out and you can see how fairly simple that was to do um, next thing to do is just add a little visual arrange it and this is what the finished version sounds if you did enjoy this and you want to see more please do let me know and give it a like and subscribe i plan to uh, release these every week and we'll try to cover the majority of different sort of genres within hip-hop and trap um, and yeah, if there's any uh, feedback that you can give, please do let me know, but otherwise enjoy.